think it's the first time I experience fear because of the new sensations. And, uh, what kind of sensation, if I may ask? A dizziness. Dizziness, yeah. But not during the exercising, but almost all the time since yesterday evening. Now you feel dizzy? Yeah. Yeah. And for some rapid movements or quick movements, it's a loss of uh, balance, sense. Okay. Sense of balance. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. It's pretty st strong. Okay. Yeah, and strange. And strange. Yeah. And then fear comes. Yeah. Because it's yeah, because unknown. Yeah. Well, I I think it's a, I'm not I'm not worried. <laughs> I'm not worried. I think it will it will things will settle again, but it seems to me I I can't know for sure, but just because you feel you seem to be okay when I see you and you can you can speak and you you you're orientated. What I think is happening is that we have challenged the separate self in its place in its, in in a more subtle place maybe than than usual, and of course it's uh, destabilizing for the separate self. So when the separate self, which does not exist, is destabilized, seems to be destabilized, in the level of the mind it creates confusion, questions, resistance with the mind, opposition. At the level of the body, when the separate self is challenged, it's going to create sometimes big releases or Sometimes it's going to be very positive because there's it. It's fine. We the the, the 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 there is no resistance. But sometimes there's a bit of resistance, and it can express itself with these feelings of dizziness. Uh, but especially with the fear, because the dizziness is just a. It's new. You're labeling it dizziness, but in fact, who knows? It might just be a a realignment of the body. And sometimes it's not so bad. Exactly. <laughs> but it's new and yeah. it's unknown. And that's that's where fear comes in and also the mind goes, I'm dizzy and what's going to happen next? And I feel overwhelmed and, and then... Duh, 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 duh. So be happy. It's, it's a good sign. And with the fear, just welcome the fear. See that that's another face of the separate self trying to take control again. Like... I need to make sure things are going to be okay and control and just see it gently. It's so natural. Don't 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 write any big stories. Just this is one way that it can happen. This is another way that it can happen. This is another way. This we're all in the same boat. It's all trying to jump off the same. <laughs> no, we all have our own boat that we're trying to jump off. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Like, trust it. Trust the process. Go laugh with uh, with Marius. He seems to know how to <laughs> let go. <laughs> is there a story with your fear? What What is the fear? Just of not knowing? You yeah. look like your daughter when you go like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just of not knowing and a sense of loose control. Perfect. Yeah. Play with that edge. You know, ask yourself who is going to lose control? Who? Who is the one who doesn't know? See that it's it's just a contraction, a habit. The habit of knowing, of, of of controlling. And it's a habit that plays out in the mind and in the body. 
and it's a very good one to begin to see, to begin to explore. And of course to see that the feeling of control or the feeling of being out of control equally appear in presence. Uh, and the, th the thoughts, I know, I know what this is and I know what to do, I, and the thought, I don't know, equally appear in presence. And we can trust that true knowledge, the true knowing, the true control, you could say, the true unfolding is, is going to happen, it's fine. Everything is unfolding in perfection. But you know, that's not a message that the separate self can understand. So don't, that message is not for the separate one, it's for you. You. <laughs> Let the fear just be a, an appearance. 